Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and welcome to the next two minutes of tech. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing tablet devices. Now you'll have seen that over on my Geek and Noise channel, I've been reviewing quite a lot of different tablets. I've had a Tega V2 tablet from Tega Tech. I've also had the Creative Zio. And there's also a lot of tablets coming out this year. There was a whole host of them actually launched at CES. And in this video, I wanna discuss, will the Apple iPad ever be beaten. So those tablets I actually reviewed were very good in their own right. The Tega V2 offered up two platforms, uh, Windows OS and either Android or Linux. So you could boot into all different platforms and you could also plug in external devices, things like keyboards, mice, printers to those USB ports. Now, is that taking the tablet platform too far? Is it taking away the simplicity of use? And then we go to the very cheap end, uh, the Arcos 70 uh, and also the Creative Zio that I reviewed. Now these ones run Android and it offers up a whole new area of apps. So very, very good apps available in the Android market. But is it too simple? Is it not intuitive enough to use? Is the user interface flawed? And between devices, the user interface does differ as well. So you might pick up one Android tablet and then a second one, and although they're both running Android, they are quite different devices. Whereas with the Apple iPad, which is obviously my preferred tablet at the moment, then you are presented with a very fluid uh, operating system. Uh, the user interface has been very well thought out. And are all of these other tablet manufacturers purely trying to catch up? Well, I'm running out of time now, so I'm gonna invite you all just to leave your comments, video responses below and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.